so I did a video before about, you know, how waving works in a field and all that kind of stuff and went over, you know, like when to wave and things like that. So, you know, it kind of builds on that uh, and watch that video whenever I posted it. Um, it's called waving in Disneyland or something. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> something like that. So just to build on that, it's just about like how people wave and you know greeting each other out here and whatnot you know all moral moral support but uh you know like when times have kind of changed and what i realized it's like when i was a kid you know i used to walk home from school sometimes and uh so i lived like three miles, four miles from school, but it was all like paved road and a fairly busy highway. So like it was, wasn't too bad. And you'd, you'd walk and you'd see like Sammy's coming by all the time. You'd be like, yeah, meet me. And they do that. And then they like honk the horn loud. You know, if you were lucky, if you were unlucky, they'd pick you up and molest you and drop you off somewhere else. And, uh, but they'd drive by and then they'd honk and you'd be like yeah this is the best day of my life Woo! and it would be most likely because you get home and your old man would probably you know just beat the piss out of you or whatever you know who knows and so you know up until that point it was likely things were going pretty swell you know nothing like ruining a good day so you know that's typically how it works but I was seeding this year and, uh, you know, going like four mile an hour through a field and I see a farmyard up ahead and there's a couple young boys playing and one was about, you know, 10 and, 10 and 8. And uh, clearly they've never seen the proper etiquette of waving or when to wave. Um, so they start waving at me and I'm like, oh man, like they're waving super early. Like I'm, it's going to take me you know 30 40 minutes to get around this farmyard still so they're waving and i'm like oh yeah okay i'm waving back and you know because they're ahead of me and you know i'm looking back at my drills and making sure everything's good and you know they're waving some more and playing around in this uh row of trees and i'm like oh yeah hey okay this is yeah and um you know i get close and i pull in and you know, they're starting to get a little close to the drill, and I'm thinking, like, I'm not, I'm not stopping. Like, I hope they don't get too close, but, you know, they're looking at the drill, and I'm like, by that time, I'm like, oh, I better, better give them what they pay for. So I'm like honking a horn and, like, pushing all these buttons like I'm in the Star Trek movie, and, you know, it's just like, oh, there's so much to go on. It's so confusing. And they're like, man, why is that guy not touching the steering wheel? Is he even doing anything? And I'm like, ah, I'm like pretending to turn it and it's not going anywhere. But I'm like, you know, running this straight line. And so I'm going around this and these two guys are just, uh, you know, playing around a little bit as well. And, and uh, you know, I'm going, well, you know, um, I can't, uh, I don't want to get... I don't want them getting too close. I don't want to get too close to the trees. And you know, I'm looking at my fan pressure and going like, I only get out if that fan pressure drops and one of my hoses is just shredded, you know, and, and hopefully I catch it. And um, so anyway, going and going. Of course, right around them, I end up plugging up. And I'm like, oh, great. So I like, fake hit this panel like I touched this the the window of the tractor and I'm just tapping the window like it's like it's got its own touch screen on it like like man these things are so advanced and I'm just like beep beep boop like beep oh yeah no gotta shut that down pulling fake levers on my windows and they're just like and uh and when I step out of my cab I like I always you know I, I fire up I do fire extinguisher I just and the whole thing just blows uh, fire extinguisher, CO2 everywhere. It looks like, like they're being invaded almost. I'm like, you know, I, I gotta just make this seem bigger than life. Like I want this to be 
the story they tell their children, you know, of that time. So, you know, I get out there and, you know, I stop it all and keep her on high idle because I'm like, nothing cooler than running that thing at 17,000 RPMs all the time, you know, make it seem like, oh, these monsters just shaking the ground. And I look at the, the kid there, that's about seven, I go, well, you gonna fucking help me get your brother out or what?